guy or the last tournament he played he got into the winner circle also known as butler cabin that of course bubba watson the self-taught kid that uh i tell you what what can you say about the way this guy hits the ball billy i'll start with you billy arm well he's a freak i think he's the most natural golfer that i've ever seen uh I had the privilege, really, of uh, caddying for Bill Haas in the President's Cup in Australia, and I got to see Bubba up close for two weeks because Bill played with him in the President's Cup the first two days. And, uh, Billy, I would say that this uh, gentleman curves a golf ball more than any golfer I've ever seen, including Trevino. I would agree. Um, and I think that's how he becomes engaged on the golf course uh, is by hitting these shots. Uh, he can take it eight different ways. He can take it high, low, in from right to left, left to right, and he can vary the height. And, uh, you know, when you look at the way that uh, he swings the golf club, he's swinging uh, very much in balance right here. But um, I've never seen a player that is able to manipulate the face of the golf club with his hands as effectively as Bubba does. Usually it's done with the body and the arms, and you kind of monitor that yeah. rotation of the club face, but he does it with the hands. He's very much old school in that regard, and I think that, uh, like you said, I think great players really do play golf with their eyes. And I think as an instructor, we have to be very careful that we don't instruct the genius out of these players. And because you can't teach what Bubba does. Uh, Bill Haas said to me at the Australian Open this year that he said it looked to him like Bubba Watson plays golf with his eyes and his fingers. And as you said, he does manipulate the club with his hands and his forearms. I think he's more of an old school player, really. He's not too worried about positions and how it looks. I never heard him one time ask his caddy after a good shot how that looks. And I know as a teacher, it sometimes kind of bothers me when my one of my students hits a perfect shot and says, how's that look? Because the ball should tell him it looked pretty good. And guys are on the tour are always trying to work on the distance control. And, you know, they play by a set yardage. They play, okay, what do I hit 175? What do I hit 190? What do I hit 205? This man right here, Bubba Watson, he can make the adjustment with three or four different clubs. And I think that's the beauty of watching Bubba Watson play golf is that he may be 165 yards. One time it may be just kind of a fillet six iron out there. Next time it may be a hard hooking wedge. Well, the really great players, Billy, as you know, because you played with a bunch of them, they control distance with curve and trajectory. Exactly. And so the very, very good players I've thought over the years were the guys that could actually take distance off a club when they were nervous. It used to be an accepted thing that when you were nervous, you swung as hard as you could mm -hmm. and you hoped that the world came underneath it. But my father used to tell us that good players control the ball and everybody else, the ball controls them. I like that other saying about talent. Well, he used to tell us <laughs> when we were growing up and learning how to teach that uh, you can't teach talent, but you can mess it up. And I know that if he were alive today, uh, he used to love to sit on the range at Augusta when he'd go back for the champion's dinner, that I think he would have put his chair right down behind Bubba Watson. He used to do it with Trevino. He loved to watch people move the ball. He felt that it was a game of curves. And I think he'd had more fun watching this young man play golf than any of the maybe so-called robotic players that we see out there. And you talk about learning the game. Uh, Jerry, we were at Augusta. Tom Watson was paired with Bubba Watson, and I read the other day where he actually learned a little bit by watching Bubba around the greens. Well, if you can't learn something from Bubba, you're not watching, because I find it actually harder to learn from these guys that are trying to perfect a golf swing, whatever a perfect swing is. I don't know what that is yet. But I know from my, my taste buds, I love watching the shot makers. He's Corey Pavin with another 120 yards on the drive. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Watson said he, he learned from the sound of Bubba Watson's pitch shots while he was practicing. Everyone felt, uh, sounded absolutely crisp and solid. Now, uh, that's something for Tom Watson to say. I'm learning something from Bubba Watson hitting pitch shots, not the shot that is synonymous with Bubba and the way he plays the game. The curvature of the ball, as you guys say, the seeing the shots crooked because he doesn't see straight, but also the power. Where does the power come from? I think a lot of the, of the power comes from the leverage. When you when you look at, at where the club is positioned, mm -hmm. how high the hands are, the distance of the hands from the from the neck, from the shoulders, from the hands, even with this short iron, and, and this is like a, an eight iron, but when he gets it up to the top, I mean, he's on this plane right here. Most guys with an eight iron, 
are on the well, plane right there. They're right. They're right. Just most inside of us the can't show. get there. <laughs> Even if we wanted to, we couldn't. Well, do speak it. for yourself. But, <laughs> but Bubba's up here, and, and the leverage he creates, and then coming down, and then his hips fire so much out of the way and so quickly. It is such a clearing that it is just a clear path, and then he just unloads on it. I also find it interesting, uh, Jerry, that Tom Watson was learning from him because Tom has pretty much said that uh, he doesn't understand these guys that all have teachers and psychologists and all these, the entourage around them. So I think it's interesting that Tom learned something from the guy that really doesn't, in his mind, probably know much about the golf swing. That is interesting, but I still love. He's Corey Pavin with the 120 <laughs> yards. That's going to be quoted in the nag. Well, 